Welcome to our National Letter of Intent Early Signing Period Ceremony. We're fortunate to recognize a number of our outstanding athletes who have the opportunity to participate in collegiate athletics. Through hard work, discipline, dedication, and many sacrifices, these athletes have proven to themselves and the Nequa Valley community to be superior high school competitors. Whether they're staying local or traveling a distance, competing at a Division I or at the junior college level, we are confident that, our, that all of our student athletes will represent Nequa Valley in the most upstanding manner. All members of the Nequa Valley com community are su sincerely proud of your current and future accomplishments and look forward to seeing you compete in your college col colors. So to start with our first sport, we have baseball with Coach Thornton. Good morning. It is my honor to call Mr. Jake Caraba. Come crabgrass. It is uh, really, really a pleasure to, to be up here. First of all, congratulations to all student athletes. Um, it's, this is uh, the first of what I hope to be many uh, opportunities for me to speak on behalf of um, the excellence that is Nequa Valley Baseball. Um, Jake is a pitcher in our program. Um, I, have, I am probably a little different than most coaches because I started out on the freshman level, so I've watched him grow for the last three years, and there has been exceeding, uh, exceedingly amount of um, leadership that has that he has grown into uh, I look forward to him being at the top of my rotation um, I appreciate someone who uh, plays a, a multitude of sports and comes with a, a little swagger and a little edge and, and Jake definitely has that so um, I am really looking forward to not only watching him compete for us um, this year as a pitcher but also uh, for him going to my alma mater and um, having the opportunity to, to watch him compete on the collegiate level. So once again, uh, congratulations, Mr. Jay Caraba. Yeah, they're gonna take a picture if you'd like to fake doing a fake. Yeah. <laughs> Jay. Smile. It's okay, smile. <laughs> We'd like to welcome McKenna Robinson up. Um, I was fortunate enough to be able to coach uh, McKenna with uh, the cross country season. Um, and the fun thing about McKenna is she was not traditionally a cross country runner. Um, track races and cross country races are entirely different. Um, and so McKenna, fortunately for us, uh, decided to do cross country uh, her sophomore year to help out um, with her training um, and my first interaction I took over the head coach position during her junior year uh, and my favorite memory is after the first meet um, she ran you know 21 something for three miles and her mom came up to me and was like what do you think her chances are of running 18 minutes and I was like Ooh, um, you know we should probably just take it one meet at a time um, but at the next uh, next meet McKenna shaved off like a minute of her time and she just continued to shave off more and more time uh, and just to show you how much hard work she put into a sport that um, she didn't really see herself as. Um, she ran, in 2016, she ran 2047 at the very first, or the same course, and then in 2018, the same course, she ran 1830, which uh, is amazing. So her hard work, um, she is an athlete that has the mentality to excel uh, at Division One level. Um, I get chills when I watch her race, um, and I'm excited to see what she does, not only in cross country, but in track as well. Morning. I feel very honored because I have had the privilege to be with McKenna for four seasons and it's, it's an honor to be here with you today, McKenna, on that journey. So today, um, the girls track and field team gets to honor McKenna, um, who is currently not only our 800 indoor record holder, but our outdoor 800 record holder. And then last year, surprised all of us and broke quite um, a record in the 200 meter dash. So that just shows McKenna's versatility as a runner. She can do whatever she puts her mind to it, whether it's three miles or whether it's a 200 meter dash, McKenna's there. Um, she's amazing to watch. She does give everybody chills, I agree with that. Um, McKenna, it has been such a pleasure 
to watch you grow over these last four years as such a strong and committed athlete and even maybe more so such a wonderful human being that we know we can count on as coaches and your fellow athletes look up to you so we are very excited to watch you at the University of Texas where you get to run in some warmth because I know cold is not your favorite um, and we're excited for you so congratulations kiddo. If I could have Caden Perry and Ethan Hojanaki come on up. So we're very fortunate to have a handful of players going to play at the collegiate level uh, next year. Here we have Ethan and Caden. Uh, Ethan is a three-year varsity player. He was always one of our starting uh, LSMs or, or long stick midfielders. He started every face off, very athletic player. Last season finished with 38 takeaways, which is very, very impressive. Uh, Caden Perry is probably our top midfielder. He's committed to play at, at number one ranked RIT next year. And offensively, he's probably one of the, uh, the best players that I've ever had the, pl the pleasure of, uh, of working with. Last season, uh, these, these two helped us get to the Elite Eight. Prior to that, they helped, uh, they helped take the Nikola Lacrosse team to the Final Four in state. And we are, we're definitely hoping that with their, their help and their leadership again this year, that we should, be, uh, we should be making another pretty deep state run. So thank you guys, and, and best of luck in the future. I'd like to introduce Aaron McCarthy, who's going to Lipscomb University, Daniel Hopkins, who's going to Missouri S&T, and uh, Leah Sinise, who's going to University of Wisconsin La Crosse. So come on up, girls. First of all, I'd like to thank all the parents um, of these athletes. The hours that you've spent taking your sons or daughters to uh, practices and matches or games or meets uh, and the traveling you've done and the money you put into uh, them becoming elite athletes. Um, you know, I, I, I understand how that is, having a daughter who played uh, in college uh, for a bit, and so I know it's a lot of time and commitment. And thank all the um, other athletes and students that are here in attendance to, you know, kind of wish their teammates um, or classmates or friends, you know, good luck. And just, it says a lot, this is a fullest I've ever seen this room in terms of students. So that says a lot about all you student athletes uh, that you have that many people who come out to, to support you at 6.30 in the morning. Um, starting off with, well, first of all, all three of these young ladies were all conference uh, academic. Uh, so that means a lot in terms of uh, us as coaches in, in all the sports that they excel not only on the field, but they also excel in the classroom. Um, we're looking forward to these three being leaders on our, our team this coming spring. Um, all three of them are going to find institutions and going to do outstanding jobs, you know, in their, on the field and in the classroom. So I want to thank all of you, the three of you guys, and I know your teammates thank you, um, and I know we're looking forward to seeing you guys this spring. So parents, one at a time, one hour, come on up with the whole group of parents. <laughs> All right, good morning everyone. I would like to introduce Alana Batista. It gives me great honor to recognize Alana Batista, who will be continuing her softball career at the University of Montevallo. She was with our program for two years, where she played outfield. In talking with her JV coach, she can be described as a hardworking athlete who gives 100% on the field and to her teammates. We are so happy for you and wish you all the best next year. Most memorable season was on her sophomore year in our JV program, where she hit four home runs and had 30 RBIs. Good luck next year and we are so happy for you. All right, if I could have Athena and Kristen, come on up. All 
right. Well, first, uh, congratulations to all the athletes, um, and good morning to everybody. But for the record, this is still technically sleeping in for us. Um, had this been held last week, I would have definitely demanded that uh, we've been at the pool and so the girls continue to practice while we uh, have this ceremony. But uh, we are in our final stage of our season, the uh, state championships this weekend, and um, we are slotted to do very well, and it's directly attributed to our senior athletes, uh, Athena and Kristen, who are very opposite. One is very dominant under the water, one is very dominant above the water. Um, one spends practice uh, racing on her back, the other is on her stomach. Um, and even in their personalities, one of them is very quiet, very well soft-spoken. The other is, uh, <laughs> likes to make a, uh, her presence known very well. But it's, it's needed. And every personality we have on our team is very important for very many reasons. Um, this year has been really strong for us and very different. And these two athletes have been with this program for a long time, seen a lot of success. They're already All-Americans in high school, hopefully, uh, uh, this weekend we'll, we'll get another All-American um, on an individual level for both of those. But going to the next level for them I think is a very big step. There will be tremendous contributors to their programs. Hopefully we'll see them both too, maybe at the next um, United States Olympic trials, who knows, uh, in 2020. But uh, congratulations, girls. Uh, good morning and thank you everybody for coming. Um, I'd like to have uh, Kevin Collin come up here for uh, boys volleyball. Um, he'll be going to Lewis University uh, next year. Um, I've been at NEQA for 18 years now and Kevin by far is going to be the best volleyball player we've ever had come through this school. Um, it's been a, yeah, for sure, yeah. <laughs> So he's one of those kids, uh, one of those athletes. He doesn't just have the physical attributes. Um, you know, obviously it helps to be tall to be a volleyball player, but he is a volleyball player. Um, you know, he's one of those kids. He, he tried out for the team, was a starter as a freshman, um, sophomore and junior years. He was uh, all conference, all area. Last year as a junior, as he was an all area MVP. He was also one of 20 kids that were invited to try out for the U.S. Junior National Team. It's not just his individual accomplishments as a volleyball player, but also, you know, his 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 um, uh, his assist to the team as the setter um, helped us to win uh, regionals freshman year, regionals sophomore year, regionals last year, and second in state last year. So hopefully this year as a senior, he'll help us to win a state title, um, and that'll just complete his career not just as a individual volleyball player in terms of his statistics, but also for what he's done for the team. Um, just one quick little story about, just not, not just about, you know, I just don't want to talk about Kevin's statistics, but also talk about um, him as a uh, person. I remember freshman year, there's a tournament that we were in at Bennett, and um, you know, like I said, Kevin was a starter as a freshman. I took him out for one of the games, and he started pouting and was really mad. So that night, he emails me. He's like, can I come in tomorrow, and I want to have a meeting with you with my dad. <laughs> That doesn't sound very good like when I first read it. So he comes in and you know, we sit down, I'm like, oh, what, you know, what, what, what do you want to talk about? And he's like, I just want to apologize for the way I behaved at the tournament. I was like, what, the, what just happened? That never happens. I've never had a scenario like that before. And like for me personally, as, as a coach, not just as a coach, but as a teacher, that stuck with me forever. And I will never forget that moment. So, that just speaks to Kevin as, as, as a young man, and there's nothing but great things for him in his future. You, know, you will see him on the Olympic team. You know, you know, in the Olympics, he's that good of a player, as et cetera. So congratulations to Kevin and his family. It's a great accomplishment. Can we give uh, one final round of applause for all of our student athletes and coaches? As you reflect on your journey as an Equal Valley Wildcat, make sure that you give yourself an opportunity to say thank you to those who supported you along the way. And trust that support will never stop, 
and that you can believe that as these individuals guided you through your high school career, they will continue to guide you, guide you through your college career and beyond. We will look forward for you when you come back to share with us your new successes and adventures, because once a wildcat is always a wildcat. Good luck to all of you, and best wishes on your collegiate journey.